now your host. He is the Roastmaster of Roast Battle, Brian Motherfucking Moses. I'm excited to be here. I got my haters in the house. Uh, keep it going for my boy Sushi Boy Mexico. Nigga, nigga. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, man? So you've been bringing people every week with you. Who you got this week? I got my man Zaloopers, the greatest rapper alive. Whoa. Stand up. Show these niggas how tall you is. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. That nigga is a model of Drake's dick. Oh. <laughs> Beat me to it. <laughs> that nigga's as tall as Drake's dick. <laughs> what up, Z? What up, though? Shit. All right. Let's have some fun in here. Uh, and I got, what up, y'all? Man, I love this. Man, this is the Rose Battle. Now with more black people. We don't do this a lot. I've been doing this for 10 years. This is, we done man. turned this shit black, for real. For real. This is like having a number one uh, comedy album on iTunes. All you need is just two albums you sell. <laughs> we got two black people, so that's the most we've ever had. Uh, let's make love for your fire squad tonight. All the way in the corner, you've seen them on Don't Be a Minister South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. Woo! Crazy Legs, Sully McCullough. Yeah. 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 Wait, that nigga not really handicapped? No. Oh. He I'm, a, can I'm walk. a good actor, dog. I'm a I good like actor. I like that. I like that. <laughs> it's like crazy legs can walk. Yeah. He can walk for real. You really, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, you really did deserve like a like an award, like an NAACP Spirit Award or something. It was, I should have got something. It was a breakthrough performance. Yes, a real it was. Tour de force. Uh, my man in the middle over there, the most tenured battle and roast battle history, just Woo. dropped a special called Lil Special on YouTube. Omi Singh. Yeah. Yeah. What up, man? Yeah, yeah, have you seen uh have you seen that? I haven't, but I love Sully's comic. Thank you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it going for a Gen Z Herald, uh from Harold and Kumar. Uh right there, uh listen, I know him as Sushi Boy Mexico's friend. You guys know him as the internet's favorite black person, Zach Fox. Booty man. For my man. Fuck around and find out what's Zach up. Fox. How you doing? Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, man. Looking slim and talk light about skin. that nigga outfit. Oh, you're not gonna nigga, talk. First of all, no, no, in, no, said, no, what the no, fuck no, going no, on, no. Bro? I'm gonna talk over you because fuck that. <laughs> I'm not gonna let uh, really, really Mars Blackman and fucking <laughs> and Missy Elliott Superfly video. Really, <laughs> you gonna talk to me about this? Like a California raisin in that same video, shit. Hey, I don't Mexico, know. You know when you start a create a character and it just give you some clothes right. at first and you don't change it. <laughs> I nigga, want everything. Be the NBA ballers, nigga, before you you start playing the game. This is the outfit they started. You look like a default nigga tonight, Brian Moses. What? <laughs> default, default, default. Huh? It's your Black History Month outfit, nigga. <laughs> yeah, it's called I got white money now. Sushi. I know that's Sushi. Like, make some noise. <laughs> Sushi Boy and Zach, y'all. These I hate these two. Uh, and over there, that is the world champion of Rose Battle League season one. 10 and 0 season, a motherfucking monster, Ryan Nesson. Yes. What What's up, up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Fresh off your what? You got two titles now? The the Rose Battle LA championship. Yeah, like Connor McGregor. World championship. <laughs> yeah, I'm like Connor McGregor now. It's yeah, great. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I just, let's I know. So many more famous. Um, she's the baddest bitch in here right now. Keep it going for Kim Kong. Yeah. Well, I except for her. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Thank you guys so much. Childless MILF on YouTube tomorrow. Thank Woo! you. Is that your OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> That's her special drops tomorrow. Oh, oh. On Valentine's Day. Childless MILF, check it out. Kim Congdon, very funny. You're going to love it. It's going to blow her up. You can say you saw her here first. All right, you did your promo. You can go now. Good night. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, y'all. We have four battles tonight. I think one of them are good, so let's have some fun. All right, this first battle. These are two ladies. Uh, first ladies from Massachusetts. One to know, Mandy Robbins. Hell yeah. What up, Mandy? <laughs> what up, Mandy? Nothing, nothing. Hell nothing yeah. much. <laughs> it's time for androgyny. Uh, it's Pat. Uh, Mandy Robbins. 
You've done this before. You beat somebody or want to know from Massachusetts. Um, Mandy, this guy's looking for someone's OnlyFans. <laughs> me, me, Mandy. You are my OnlyFans? If you have one, yeah, you can, sh- you can drop that after the, the okay, road. Yeah, we'll link up. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, Mandy, shit. <laughs> Man, all right. Um, you're battling Maddie Mays. Uh, you know, why are you doing this to her? Uh, I'm battling Maddie because she said that if I win, uh, I can suck on her titties like a little baby. So let's go, Mandy. Man, hell yeah, just like one of us. <laughs> all right. Uh, this lady's from Houston. <laughs> hell yeah. Keep it going. Maddie Mays. I, I, I see what you mean. I understand. I understand. All right. Uh, it's crazy because Maddie was wearing a jacket before she got up here, but she had to show everybody them titties. Yeah! And we appreciate it here at the Rose Battle. Um, all right. Why are you doing this to her? Well, she's my friend, but now knowing this, I'm like, yo, I gotta let her know I'm mommy, bro. <laughs> gotta right. let her know. <laughs> Shit. All right. This is a top battle. Let's do it. <laughs> Who's gonna top who? Who's gonna dumb? Yeah. What? <laughs> One round, five jokes, three jokes. Who's going first? Uh, I'll go first. White privilege. Are we ready? Yeah. Bisexual, I think she's a lesbian. Let's get into it. <laughs> Massachusetts, H. Tell us, I am so happy to be here with my favorite mixed race brats doll. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Maddie is a hoe that loves anime. She's got every guy dragging balls across her face. <laughs> Mandy built like a non binary Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Looking like every Pixar character ever. <laughs> Talking about mixed race. Uh, thank you, Hoey Kravitz. Oh, uh, Maddie's from Texas. They call her Pussy the Rio Grande because Mexicans enter daily. I hate Mexicans. <laughs> I mean, nobody likes Mexicans, all right. Mandy, Mandy is the product of a sperm donor, which is crazy to me because I didn't know mashed potatoes could bust a nut. The bitch, the bitch built like a dollar of sour cream. Uh, <laughs> Maddie has autism. Uh, thank God for her huge tits. She squeezes them every time she gets overstimulated. Yeah, yeah, I do actually, yeah. Yeah, it's great, I'm not gonna. <laughs> nah, uh, Mandy went to rehab at 17. I guess that means she puts the pills in Pillsbury. <laughs> I poke her tummy, but I ain't trying to leave another track mark. Oh. Hey, Maddie Mays from Houston, and Mandy Robbins from Massachusetts. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's start with my haters, actually. Uh, do you like the Bratz doll or the Cabbage Patch doll? They should just fuck and just get it over with. <laughs> He's right. That's all he had. His input. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, big tits are big everything. <laughs> For real. Uh, I'm going to go with Maddie. Okay. I'm going to still need that OnlyFans, Mandy. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Maddie, but I like your jacket. That's a nice jacket. (laughs) (laughs) All right, sure. Uh, Crazy Legs, Sula McCullough. Your first time seeing right, doing this, this was, thing. This was a good, this was a good battle. This was, I liked it. Like, you both, you both came with it. I, I like Dollop of Sour Cream. That was one of my favorites, and it made me hungry. So, I'm going to go with Maddie on this one. I'm going to okay. give the winner to Maddie. Maddie's the winner. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, me, who'd you like, Nanette or uh, the Kardashian they don't talk about? <laughs> Rob? 
I mean, Mandy looks like she left a game of Monopoly to be here right now. <laughs> And Maddie just reminds me that I want to get Popeyes after the show. So. <laughs> this is insane. This, this show is the racist shit I've ever seen in my life. And it wasn't even white people this time. It's half a black person. I don't know what Omid is. I'm everything, bro. So. <laughs> like, He's everyone. Mandy, uh, great job. Maddie as well. I'm just trying to remember whose name is what. Right? But I think both of you had two jokes. Dragon Balls, so funny. Hoey Kravitz, we all see it. But when... <laughs> but Maddie really stole the show with her I hate Mexicans line. She really did. She really did steal the show. And uh, doubling down and saying, I don't think anybody likes Mexicans. <laughs> so she decided to speak for the whole room. Um, do you have one more? What? <laughs> all right, fine. I'll give it to Maddie. I mean, it doesn't really matter because the audience is voting, so, you know. But thank you. Uh, Zach, who do you like, fat shame or thick goodness? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, man. When Mandy came out, you know, I, she was an early favorite. You look like you run the fuck out of a Taco Bell. You know what I mean? Like, you really take that shit serious. Exactly, exactly. And, and, and Maddie, oh. thank you for, you know, you could have been in Dubai getting shit on by anybody right now, so you... <laughs> Big money. It's big to money. come here and make no money for this is is very admirable. Uh, you can have gold bars and doo-doo all over your body right now, but uh, you chose to be here, which is really cool. Um, Maddie, I gotta say, I, you know, I, I you know, I had my doubts at first. You know, Russ, roasting is a is a tough game, but that non-binary Mike Wazowski joke was uh, very visual, very descriptive, super good. Mandy, you were swinging. I'm gonna have to give it to Maddie. She surprised me with this one. It was dope. Okay, okay. All right, champ. Who do you like in this, uh, the first gay couple to get married in Massachusetts? Or was it New Hampshire? I don't know history. I just like that Mandy's dressed like every Vietnam vet right now. Yeah, that's great. Um, this is like Black China versus Angina. It's uh, a... <laughs> Nigga, which one? Oh, either one. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no, I thought I thought they both had two good jokes. Actually, I would have probably called it a draw, but uh, the audience decides anyway. Yeah, so right. They do. The mashed potatoes joke was fucking hilarious because I mean, obviously, <laughs> uh, I you guys laughed at the joke, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever. All right, get him. I say draw. Fuck it. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, go ahead, Kim Carson. Uh, this was a really fun battle to watch. Very unexpected. Uh, I I didn't know it was going to go with this way. I thought I was going to go for uh, Mandy Milanakis, but... Uh, I was waiting! Damn it! <laughs> this is like the battle of Selena versus her tour bus. Um, Kimberly! <laughs> You have a special dropping tomorrow <laughs> called Childless Milk. Mandy, you look like you still spell boobs on a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> you look like your pussy smells like belly button. Uh, Yo! <laughs> that's nasty. You're, you look like your pussy smells like, hey, that's a bar. I know, Fuck. that was mean. I don't mean that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really don't. It looks not squeaky clean, but... <laughs> Somewhere in between what I said of the two. Um, I'll pay for it on OnlyFans. <laughs> Real nigga. Um, and that was fun. I, I would vote for Mandy. And my vote doesn't matter, but yeah. uh, I mean, Maddie, no, yeah. because of the mashed potatoes one, that was great. <laughs> that That's was awesome. funny. All right. I mean, your vote doesn't count because you're a Puerto Rican woman in America, not because we're going to go to the audience right now. Um, all right, audience, who do you like? Do you like a zit or a blackhead? It's on you. So, wait, Moses, it's you or an Asian? <laughs> it was an acne joke, but all right, Kim, fuck. Uh, do we like Mandy Robbins? <laughs> That's damn, Kim. <laughs> We, we gotta edit this whole show. She said the Mexican thing, he said the, the, the Popeyes thing, and now she just said, what the fuck was that? All right. 
or do we like Maddie Mays? Yeah! Hell yeah. Folks, keep it going. Maddie Mays! Hug each other, you two. Battle! This cat coming up, he's never done this before. Debut from Boise, Idaho. Disgusting. <laughs> One time, Tyler Wolf! Yeah. Hell yeah. Yes. What's yes. Up, Moses? Yes. All right. Keep it going, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler, you look like somebody who's from Boise, Idaho. Yeah, yeah. Originally from Bellflower, but yeah, that's where I live now, Boise, Idaho. All right, well... Uh, how are you and your militia? Oh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> January 6th was uh, not too long ago. We celebrated very nicely. It oh, was good. Bro, there's a it whole new good. fucking insurrection. Have you heard of February 6th? Drake's Dick Day? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Happy Black History Month. It man. was like 9 11 for straight niggas. They all went down like, oh my God. <laughs> all right. Tyler, uh, you're battling Peugeot. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a racist battle. All right. Uh, <laughs> Why are you battling Peugeot Mahdi? It's, uh, you know, the world is in shambles right now. I feel like America needs a win on this. It's, it's the classic battle, right? U.S. versus Middle Eastern, you know? I've been no, tra- actually, no. That's not it. A- <laughs> <laughs> that's like, really, no. That's the oldest one's happening right now. Israel, it doesn't matter, but you're right. America first. <laughs> All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this man is from Sacramento. He's three and five. He's here to get redemption against a domestic terrorist, a foreign terrorist, Pej Amadi. Show that American imperialist. All right, man. Anyway, all right. Uh, Pej, good to see you. Why are you battling this guy? It's just to have an honest conversation. You know what I mean? Okay. Try to figure it out. Oh, all right. All right. This is going to be bad. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, I'm not being racist, but he is kind of (laughs) scary. All right, I got to go. Bye. (laughs) One round, three jokes. Tyler, Pez, who wants it? My man. This is Tyler's debut. That's Pez. He's done it. Are we ready? Let's roll. Pez, thank you for taking time away from roofing people at the Hookah Lounge to be here tonight. That's nice of you. Pez's father is a failure. His business went under three times. So Pez has now decided to be like his father, and he's going to fail at acting, singing, and now comedy. That's right. Uh, Proud of it. Give it up for uh, the fat Kelsey brother. Um, They already have one of those. (laughs) Thank you for keeping your shirt on this time. Um, Tyler's born in Bellflower, as he said, uh, single and not on any dating apps. Uh, Instead, he enjoys hunting and uh, fishing with his guy friends. Bro, just say you're gay without saying you're gay, you know what I mean? Yeah. Make America gay again. There we go, yeah. Thank you, Princess of Persia. That was very nice of you. (laughs) Pej does like to tell everyone that he's Persian because it makes him feel better when he gets weird looks at the airport. (laughs) Pej's family in America sells BMWs and his family in Iran blows them up. Yep. R.I.P. to my family. Um, doesn't Tyler look like uh, he's built for tough for all electric cars only? Oh, is that it? That was the one. Oh, okay. nice. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, thank you, Pej, for the Uber ride here tonight. It was Pe- Lyft. Pej's family claims they fled Iran for religious freedom. I think it's just so their son could be gay without getting murdered. Pej, you look like the genie that appears when a closeted Middle Eastern rubs a butt plug. How'd you know that? How'd you know that? That's good. He calls his butt plug the Iron Shriek. Tyler's a failed high school baseball player. Um, Apparently, he missed it so much, he moved to Idaho just to play with all the boysies he could find. Finish him! (laughs) Audience, come on, make some noise. Herpege. 
And that's Tyler. All right. Uh, haters, you know what to do. Bro about to go home and rub that blood plug at night. That's what's about to happen. He is going to do that, Zay Lopez. You're right. Oh, who? I hate, uh, probably Pedro Stoyakovich. This nigga was trash. <laughs> This nigga was reading off the phone and there still was no jokes in there. Damn! That's crazy, nigga. <laughs> what was you looking at, chat GPT? Like, I, I don't understand where you, the fuck was going on in the phone. I feel like both of them was telling the truth about each other, but your truth just a little bit more sorry than his. It's, just like... it's true, Zay Loopers, you're right. So yeah, the white man went. <laughs> But the white man's in all black. He knew Thanks. what he knew what month it was. Hell yeah. Sule for the Jamie Foxx uh, show. Uh, Pez Pez scared me. I'm not gonna lie. The the uh, the uh, the Persian overbite was was scary. It reminded me of like everybody I played ball with in Glendale. <laughs> no jump shots. A lot of fouls. Um, <laughs> I thought the phone was going to explode at one point. Okay. <laughs> Yo. We still ain't left out of here yet, so we got to be careful what we do. Um, uh, Ty Tyler's jokes were, were just mean and racist enough for me to vote for him. Hell yeah. 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 The Hell BMW yeah. thing, the, the Iron, Sh Iron Shrek or Sheik, what? Yeah. The Iron Shriek. That was a good joke. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going Tyler. Yeah, yeah, Tyler man. was the one for me. All right, all right, Omid. You know, you know, you know what time it is. Yeah, tick, 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 tick. Uh... <laughs> this is your brethren right here. I know. He's in your cell. Pej, honestly, before you started telling your jokes, I was like, is he wearing a vest under? <laughs> <laughs> but Pej, we're Iranians. We're not even terrorists. You know, we're, we just fund it. So we wouldn't be the ones doing it. We're just the. Pej, we bombed tonight, all right, buddy? And uh, <laughs> bombed pretty hard. I like the we. That's fun. Tyler, yeah, you know, you did what you had to do. You went up there and you called him a fucking Uber driver and you called him a fucking terrorist. But we didn't get to know anything about either of you besides <laughs> that you're both gay, apparently. Gay terrorists, yeah. Gay terrorists. Yeah. That's my new podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> The bomb I just let off in the bathroom. Because gay guys have diarrhea. You know what I'm saying? Like we, there was nothing about each other. We didn't learn anything. You, you, you did it skin deep. Yeah, Pez, Pez, you were like checking your stocks on your phone, or, <laughs> or, or canceling Uber confirmations. Or like, no. <laughs> no, I'm not going to Lancaster right now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 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 but yeah, Tyler, good job. Keep that beard oily. Good job, buddy. This is good. This is good. This is good. <laughs> Who do you like here? Uh, I mean, an ICE uh, officer or his detainee? I mean, bitch. <laughs> what can I say, Tyler? Four more years, right? Like, it... <laughs> we getting that boy back in the office this year. No, we don't know. Come we on. get that boy back in the office. We getting that boy Tell back in the office Tyler. this year. Come on, boy. <laughs> Tyler, look how excited he is. She's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. <laughs> that boy, dick start getting hard thinking about Trump. He's like, yeah. Not that kind of battle, Tyler. Pej, I thought you was going to have it, man. You came up here with them skinny ass pants on. I saw that moose knuckle, but apparently that's just. <laughs> but that's just some C4, ain't it? You just. Oh, God. <laughs> you should have peeled the pin off that bitch before you started getting your ass up. <laughs> you can do it right now, bro. Just end this shit right now, bro. It's a small room. The niggas in the back won't even get no shrapnel. So. Damn. Uh, it doesn't matter, man. Tyler got pissed. You, you, you gonna get it, bro. But Tyler, you, you came out swinging. It was, it was cool, bro. Next January 6th, let's, uh, let's get a beer. Oh, shit. All Crack right. a Bud Light. Yeah. Okay, okay. Couple proud boys talking. Okay. Ryan Nesson. Um, yeah, who do you like? Israel or Palestine here? This looks like SEAL Team 6 that's defending Israel, not an Israeli. Uh, <laughs> Pej, uh, looks like his mom writes him notes to get out of suicide bombings. <laughs> like, yeah. He can't come in today, he's sick. Uh, <laughs> you look like you have my friends with benefits. <laughs> he's Persian, guys. Okay, whatever. Uh, my friends. Yeah. 
Tyler. Tyler looks like he takes a knee during the Black the Black Panther theme song. <laughs> just fucking. Hey, he got. Funny. He got it. No, no, I'm just trying. I'm just. I'm still trying to figure it out. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. You also look like uh, Santa Claus the prequel. Like just. <laughs> <laughs> Which no, but... one? Shit. We just sold it right now. I'm Jewish. I can make this happen. This, this movie's getting I knew done. It. Yeah, I mean that was obviously Tyler, right? Like we all agree on that. Audience, yeah. are you still alive? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Tyler. They, some good jokes. I like the Iran joke. The uh, Uber joke. All the racist jokes, yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah I give it to Tyler. All right. Uh, audience, who do you like? Do you like Pejamati? Yeah. Wow. They quiet is... like you, Armenian, nigga. Wow. That sounded like the stand-up sets tonight, shit. Nobody, nobody left. All right. Uh, or do we like Tyler Wolf? Yeah. It's his debut, folks. He did this for 2024. Tyler Wolf! Yeah. Battle. All right, I'm excited. This is this is wild. All right, we have another debut. This guy's from Las Vegas. Sounds like a fake name, I'll be honest. Uh, Brian Shenanigan. Nah, that is shenanigans okay. if I oh, ever boy. seen it. We'll grab your weapon right over there. Whole bunch of shenanigans going on. Whole bunch of shenanigans. Oh, shit. They said I have autism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God. John Popper from Blues Traveler. Ass, right? I haven't seen you in decades. It's good to see you. Now, shenanigan. Um, is that a real last name? Where does it come from? Uh, it's actually Norwegian. Shit. Sure. Yeah. I'm real white. Real white. It no, come from the way them vans is leaning. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you don't say. Um, all right. You're battling our boy, T.C. Morgan from Vegas. Well, you guys are boys, right? Yeah. How do you guys know each other? Uh, T.C. used to work for me at an ice cream store me and my brother owned. What? Yeah. You better not Y'all be black. Y'all sell drugs? <laughs> oh, I, ice cream is drugs, man. I sell a lot of that shit. Clearly. Yeah. yeah. As illustrated, this area here. You're yeah. not supposed to get high on your own supply. Hey, you know I, that. I, right I, can't, now. I can't. I can't help it. That nigga be putting that ice cream in that hat. <laughs> Uh, folks, this guy's funny. He used to work for this guy. T.C. Morgan! Oh, that is pathetic. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yes. This nigga twice this nigga age. You used to work for the nigga in the fedora? <laughs> Did y'all niggas work at a Marvel comic book store? Hell yeah. You worked at Hot Topic. That's what... Look at these niggas' shirts. That's how you get pussy. <laughs> Get that hot topic pussy, you know what I'm saying? You too old for that nigga. Don't get banned from the comedy store. <laughs> He's strange. All right, all right, all right. Let's, let's get into this. All right, let's get into this. Breaking Bad, the 40-year reunion. We're going to get into this. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. One round, three jokes. Who's going first? Uh, it's going to be me. TC. Shit, shenanigans. <laughs> Vegas. Let's roast. Oh, shit, man. What can I say about my boy, Brian Shenanigan, man? He is an up-and-coming comic. He is on his way up the list of comics in Vegas. So you see Matt Kimmel's, you see Matt Wise Guys. Matter of fact, that's the only place you see his ass sprinting. Uh, fat guy can't run joke. Always a classic. Always a classic. Uh, TC got kicked off of Tinder. Because he posted a bunch of pictures of his doing himself doing comedy, and they all got flagged as dick pics. Oh, that didn't land either. Fuck. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. All right. Back to you. Fuck. All right. Calm down, Snuffleupagus. I got this. All right. Uh, so what can I say? Like for real, Brian Shannon. You know, actually, Lane Brian. What can I say about my boy here that ain't already been said on the motherfucking? Episode of 600 Pound Life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that sucked too. Oh my God. That's why. I'm getting More roasted words, by a Jewish you. Dracula over here. <laughs> Count Jew killer. Oh my God. Uh, TC did the Naked Roast of Skank Fest. He roasted an Irishman with one real ball and one black prosthetic ball. Balls look like a black and white cookie. And the judge looked at them and then looked at TC naked and thought he was funnier. Mm -hmm. 
Uh-huh. I don't like nothing. Bro, for real, you look like fucking Fat Albert if he was gentrified. That's all I got, bro. Fuck this. Gentrified Albert. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Uh, people say TC looks like Tom Hanks from, like, Castaway or Philadelphia. And I say TC looks like the Tom Hanks they get when they do the gay porn versions of those movies. Wilson! <laughs> so Vegas does it one time. TC Morgan! Brian Shenanigan! Hell yes. I was a big fan of this uh, Paul Wall versus Bubba Sparks battle in 2024. So I'm gonna go with my man Zay Lou. Motherfucker look like Dracula and Captain America mixed together. And this is a nigga that Spawn was fighting this shit. Both of y'all was trash as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. I, I can't remember who got who, man, but y'all got each other, so that's all that matters. Y'all got each other. <laughs> Thank you, Zay Loopers. They do have each other. Go ahead, Mexico. Yeah, that's that shit was kind of trash. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I don't really got either one of you niggas. Uh, I don't want to say nothing. Well, let's go back to the racist jokes. You know what yes. I mean? We don't, two white I niggas. Know. This is horrible. Yes. Boring. This is so 2016. They Ugh. secretly still together, so it don't matter. They ain't want to go hard on each other. And I want to go back to this nigga. Why you worked for this nigga? You like 68, right? And you like a, you like a young 36. You just got diabetes, so you look older. <laughs> He said he liked them hot toppy bitches and he had ice cream, so you already know what went down. Pedophiles. <laughs> oh, both of these niggas. <laughs> All right, let's go to the uh, let's go to the judges here. Uh, <laughs> who did you like here, Omi? Did you like Jay or Silent Bob? I mean, great battle, you guys. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, TC looks like he's in a band called Weezing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you both look like science teachers in juvie. You know what I'm talking about? Just Brian, that hat. Uh, you look like clockwork. Don't no clock. Don't work orange. Yeah, not a Cooper uh, crowd. Yeah, so. yeah, my bad. I fucked it up too. But if I walked into an ice cream shop and I saw you guys, I would just back up and walk out. <laughs> 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 like, For real. I feel like the ice cream is yeah. not going to be that fucking good. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's the worst Ben and Jerry's ever. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was that was not great, you guys. You know that. Like, you guys, Vegas terms. You know, one of you bet on black, one of you bet on red, but it was dog shit. It was green. It was, it was bad. We all lost big time on you guys. And uh, I don't know. If, are you driving home together, back to Vegas together? Yo, think about what you've done. Think no! about. Well, those four hours. Don't listen to Joe Rogan. Don't put on a podcast. Really look at each other and think, why did we not think about what we were going to talk about? For four hours together, you really could have found out some shit about each other. But to be honest, I don't even know if you guys said words to each other. None of it. They didn't really connect. I have no clue what you guys said to each other, but it didn't work. Yeah. Back to you, Brian. <laughs> Thank you, Omi. That was rousing <laughs> analytics. Yeah. These guys sell meth out of an ice cream van. Leave them alone, okay? Zach Fox, who do you like? Um, that was a waste of our fucking time, y'all. Yeah, I'm going yeah, to be real yeah. with y'all. Yeah. It was a waste of time. It was a waste of time. But it's really good to know that the two niggas who used to heckle the Power Rangers are still friends with each other. Um, Brian, you look like you got a tramp stamp of the Reddit logo. Uh, to, uh, T.C. Morgan, more like C.P. Morgan. Every time I get an Amber Alert, I'm going to think about your face, nigga. Uh, we got two tonight. Instead of roast battling, y'all could have just went terabyte for terabyte of child porn. And uh, that would have been that would have been more entertaining. American Pedophile Warrior, come on, let's green light it, Brian. Let's get that off Okay. You uh, heard it. Any, any executives in there? Yeah, y'all really, uh, y'all really stunk up the room. Y'all both, <laughs> y'all both look like y'all save up smegma. Uh, and... and and compare it on the weekends. Uh, uh, that's all I got, Brian. That, that was ass. That was ass. It was ass. Woo. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right, Nesson. Which uh, extra from Fight Club did you like? Yeah, they, they looked like they ran a fucking ice cream store that kids weren't even allowed in. Like, 
Fucking not within 500 yards of him. Uh, fucking Brian, you look like you have like a special chili recipe. I don't know. Why. <laughs> like, let me tell everybody about it. You look like you play harmonica. Do you play harmonica? Ah, oh, shit. I, I did the John Popper. They don't know that. Uh, I know. I, feel like, I tried to do the Popper thing. It's a young crowd. Uh, I don't I care. Like it, it was an era. TC's got more letters in his first name than the combined body count of both them. Just. <laughs> It's a math joke. Um, I, don't know, I feel like you guys met in a movie that you, or in a fucking forum where you just talk shit about the Barbie movie. Uh, should have been called the Ken movie. It was all about him anyway. Um, I, that was awful. Um, but Brian, you've sent me a video from Wise Guys before when I performed there, so I'm going to give it to you. All right. <laughs> I'm biased. Oh, you guys do look at the two guys who stole the Tommy Lee and Pam Anderson video. You do look like that. <laughs> yeah, I do. I really do. Uh, all right. Um, Suli, who do you like? Dallas Buyers Club or Sam's Club? Um, they, they both were really bad. Um, I, you know, I was excited about this battle, too, because when they first came out, I was like, all right, cool, some good old-fashioned white-on-white crime. Finally! I, like, I was like, we need that. This is our black history moment. And then they fumbled the bag. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, with white rerun. Oh. Yeah, because I don't know what was happening. <laughs> Man, if you people were over 45, that's right. a hell of a That's a, a great reference, reference for that's anybody. Really funny, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> white rerun is really good. Like, I don't, I'm too young for that, actually. Uh, all right. Audience, who do you like? Which person from Vegas? Do we like Brian Shenanigan? Okay. T.C. Morgan? Okay. Or, or, there's a late entry here. There's a late entry. Both or, these niggas lose. One more joke. Well, all right, first of all, this, that's weird, you guys. <laughs> Stop being masochists. We don't need this. Or, this late entry, this man's girlfriend. Yes, sir. Yes. On the day before Valentine's Day, my man, your lady just won a battle she didn't even have to fucking participate in. This guy's girlfriend! This guy's girlfriend! This guy's girlfriend! All right, hug each other, you two. I love y'all. T.C. Morgan, Brian Shenanigan, one more time. Wait, nigga, who won? Hell yeah, huh? Who won? That guy's girlfriend. Oh. Yeah, hell yeah, she did. Yeah. 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 Let's go! Let's battle! All right. This is the way you end this. This is a hell of a battle. This is the last one tonight, the main event. And this is how you end it. Uh, with the President of the United States versus the Vice President. Uh, so this lady's first here. She's never done this before. Uh, she's, a, she's the first black Indian. Um, I don't know. There's so many things that she is. Madam Vice President Kamala Harris. What are you doing, Brian? <laughs> Shit, I'm just like Joe. Nervous, Brian. Uh, thank you. Yes, I'm just glad you didn't call me Montel, like Montel Jordan used yeah, to fuck in the nineties. Yeah, I was about to ask you. She still fucking Montel. <laughs> That's a good question. Are you still having sex with Montel Jordan? Whether or not we, as the American people, are love making in this moment should not be confirmed nor denied. <laughs> That's how you do it. Some real politician shit right there. Some real Bill Clinton shit right there. It's smooth as fuck. I did not have such relations with that nigga, Montel Jordan. This is how I do it. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it's Montel Williams. I'm like, Montel Jordan did that song. All right. Audience. Uh, Let's bring him out. He's the president of the United States. Uh, the first man, President Joe Biden. Grip it, grip, grip it, grip it, 
Grip it, Joe. Grip. How are we doing, America? I said, ladies and gentlemen, and them, the President of the United States of America, Joseph R. Biden. Uh, now, Kamala, I didn't ask you, why are you battling uh, your boss? That is an incredible question, Brian. <laughs> I think it's very important. As many incredible world leaders before me have said, and will say, <laughs> that we as a people, as American people, and dare I say, human being people, <laughs> gather in this moment, in this current moment, in the present, in my talking right now moment of living that we gather to contextualize, to prophesize, and to certainly not jeopardize this moment, and dare I say, have a laugh. <laughs> that's, the first, that's, that's the first lady vice president, everybody. Keep it going. That's Kamala Harris. I have no idea why you're battling him, though. Um, I, none of that made sense. Joe Biden, why are you battling Kamala Harris? Uh, we're, we're roast battling? We're roast battling, Joe. All right. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> we're roasting. We're going to roast. All right. Uh, this is, this is going to be fun. Um, I've never seen... The first, yeah, the president and uh, yeah, the, the vice president battle. This will be fun. Who wants to go first? Ladies will go first. Girl power. <laughs> All right. Girl power. All right. One round, five jokes. This is the president and this is the vice president. Ladies and gentlemen, let's roast! Please give it up one more time for the president of the United States, Joe Biden. He is truly the greatest president of Alzheimer's. <laughs> The man behind the wheel of America can't even operate a motor vehicle. But seriously, you do not need to worry about Joe's decaying body. The only button that Joe Biden is allowed to push is to request jello from his night nurse. <laughs> Kamala has not always, <laughs> she's not always had it so easy. It was not long ago that the Taliban shot her in the face just for trying to go to school. <laughs> Joe, that is Malala. I am Kamala, Joe. Joe, Joe, don't you die on me. Joe, Joe, God damn it, code blue, code blue. Joe, Joe. Am I dead, am I dead yet? You're alive, Joe, you're alive. God damn it. You're alive. You're alive, Joe. You're alive. Excuse me, miss, could you give me some of that green jello? I'm not the night nurse, Joe. I'm the vice president. What is it you do anyway? I mean, <laughs> Kamala just smokes in the parking lot with her friends. They throw beer bottles at my car. It's a tripping hazard. I'll tell you what, Joe. You are the tripping hazard. <laughs> you know? You know? You want to know the real reason that Joe Biden wasn't on Epstein's list? It was because he tried to board the plane and then he fell up the stairs. <laughs> Fuck you. I... <laughs> she actually did do something. Kamala taught me that black does crack. It and Xanax and Kalanapin. <laughs> I'll
I'll tell you what, Joe. If black does crack, then we should call your son Frederick Douglass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who, who's Frederick Douglass? <laughs> Is that your baby daddy? <laughs> Folks, never fall asleep next to Kamala. Right, last time I woke up with do not resuscitate written on the forehead. <laughs> Guilty, you know. <laughs> Guilty. Sometimes I wish Joe would fall out of a coconut tree, you know? Uh, Joe, you just won't die, will you? You just won't die. But the thing is that I don't even know why I try. Americans would rather have Joe run this country weekend at Bernie style. And I plan to. Then see a black woman as the president. Joe's new campaign slogan is wanted dead or alive. Yeah, and folks, do not fall asleep you next to You said that Kamala. already, Joe. <laughs> you said that already. All right, uh, uh, geez, all right. If, <laughs> if you all vote for me in 2024, I promise the role of Kamala will be recast to Zendaya. Right. <laughs> At least she can act like she knows what she's doing. You know? We're kidding, we're kidding, we're kidding. <laughs> He's kidding. We get a lot of work done, Joe Biden and I. We have afternoon meetings every day where he tries to remember breakfast. <laughs> And on good days, he even remembers that he's the president. <laughs> Are we really going to trust Kamala to run this country with everything that's happened in the Middle East? I thought you were handling that. Oh, I thought you were doing that. <laughs> it was on your list. A list. No, my list just says to breathe. Wait, if you're here... And if I'm here... Then who's watching America? <laughs> Folks, if, I don't know, you have to stand for the president and the vice president yeah. here. That was the best battle of the night. Make some sounds your hands and mouth for the president of the United States of America, President Joseph R. Biden. Brian Moses, and Brian, tomorrow. Brian Moses. He's not the real president, okay? And uh, the, he, neither one of these people lost it, won this battle. It was stolen from me. Thank you, okay? Oh shit. Trump's here. All right, let's start with uh, Sula McCullough. Who'd you like in this one, Sula? Uh, this this was a this was good. This was a good battle. I liked it. I didn't uh, I didn't know how it was gonna go, um, but I think uh, I think I think Joe Biden came with it unexpectedly. You know the the yeah he, he kind of unexpectedly came with it. Um, he said you came, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I think the real winners are SZA and Logic tonight. Uh, that's, uh, that's funny for me. Uh, <laughs> but you like the president? I like the president. Hell I'm, yeah. yeah. Omid Singh, I know you, uh, you don't like what's happening up here on the stage. Are you kidding me? I love that. That was hilarious. You guys crushed it. Good yeah. job. I can't pick a winner because I promised I'd never vote for either of you again. So... <laughs> Great point. So, great job, but, uh, you know, you, you know what you've done. I like it. I like it. <laughs> and Obama killed your family, not Biden. Go ahead, Zach Fox. Oh, man. Uh, damn. I don't know. That was tough. That was, that was pretty close. Y'all both really, uh, y'all went crazy. Uh, Kamala, 
we never see you. You know what I mean? We we never know what the fuck you're doing. I, I thought that you was just away getting a BBL. That shit was just healing for the past six months. Oh. <laughs> but it ain't up there tonight. So, um, damn. I would love to see I the guess, first BBL. Yeah, in the White House. That would be nice. Uh, Joe, yeah, you, you pushed through death uh, to get the jokes out. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give it to, to my man, Sleepy Joe. <laughs> he, he went crazy. Uh, she said, if black don't crack, then your son would be Frederick Douglass. Fuck. Oh, you said that, Joe. Now, Joe gave uh, Black Does Crack, Xanax, yeah. and Klonopin, and then she did Frederick. Now, I mean, that's just... I mean, man. That's a fucking volley, if I've ever seen one. That's great joke. Really, right yeah, there. you guys wrote the fuck out of this battle. This is a joke writer showcase, and that's, that's how you do it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, come on. Uh, Ryan Nesson. Oh, boy. Uh, is this like a preview of the next Democratic debate? This is fucking... <laughs> If they were like this, <laughs> this laugh is out of control. <laughs> it's out of control. She laughs. The laugh's out of control. This face is out of control. Um, I, like the, I like the moment you guys had like a where's Kevin from Home Alone about the U.S. And I believed it. I'm like, oh, it's actually what's happening right now in this country. And it's terrifying. <laughs> um, give it up for Joe Biden's second or bottom button there. It's really doing all the work tonight. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Can't keep the border secure, but it's keeping whatever's happening under there secure. So um, I will call this a draw for the American people. Whoa! I think, yeah, yeah. I think we all won tonight. All right, let me go to the haters before I lift the president saying, haters, who'd you hate the most? Uh, Joe, you killed it. Literally. Uh, I just, that laugh is sinister, man. I don't know. <laughs> That shit scared me. I don't give a fuck with it. I'm scared. Uh, so I'm going to just go with Joe. Fuck it. I'm going with Joe. I'm a felon. I can't vote. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's a... <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, you ain't black if you don't vote for him, from what oh! I understand. So, I don't... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he won in 2020. He's winning tonight. The President of the United States of America, yeah. Joseph Biden. Hug each other, you two. And keep it going for the Vice President, Kamala Harris. This was fun. Thank you, Mr. President. All right. Free my niggas. Um, make a laugh for my, my haters in the corner over here. Sushi Boy Mexico, Zay Loopers! Yo, they, did they get an album? What should they, what do you want to say? You want to plug something? No, I don't even got to plug shit. I'm, I'm just here having fun with my friends. We sober. We support. We, we, we uh, promoting sobriety, nigga. Except for you niggas in the crowd. Do your two drink minimum, bitch. Yeah. That's how you do it, Sushi Boy. All right. Guys, keep it going for Sully McCullough. Catch my man. You going to plug anything? You going to plug anything? No. Nah. Yeah, fuck these people. You're right. <laughs> Omi sing the most tenured battler in Oris Battle history. Yes. Do you want to plug anything, Omi? Uh, Kim Congdon, Childless Milf, tomorrow, YouTube. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yes. And my special, Omi Singh, little special, also on YouTube. Hell yeah. yeah. Ryan Nesson, anything you want to tell the people? You're the world champ. Oh, I, got, I, I got a new rap album coming out. No, I'm just joking. I've got nothing. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you got nothing. Uh, <laughs> And Zach Fox, what up, man? Thanks Abbott for doing Elementary this today. tomorrow, my nigga on that episode. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm on TV tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow. I'm on TV, bitch. Yeah. Uh, watch TV. Um, yeah. 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 I love y'all, man. I love this show so much. Ten years strong. I got my new haters. I got niggas are here now, man. man. Going. We'll be here yeah. next week. Check the show every Thursday. YouTube. Love y'all. Give it up for Brian Moses. What's up for my man? Autistic Doctor Joshua. Too many white guys in the back. Woo! Productions. <laughs>